of the week finally gets that award. Got to be good at recognition for him. Yeah, Justin, uh, obviously, you know, it's a well-deserved award. He uh, played so well this weekend. You know, there's been a number of uh, times I thought he's played well and, and uh, you know, has been recognized for it. So it's very nice that, uh, you know, he's being honored this week. As you prepare for Illinois State, what is it with these non-BCS in-state opponents that you guys have had trouble with at times? Well, I think what happens so often is our guys are so focused on the weekend and they know the importance of that as far as trying to win a comp conference championship that uh, at times they, they look past the uh, midweek games. And it's something that we've really talked about and, and tried to help them understand that these games are so important for us from an RPI standpoint. And the teams we play midweek, just because they're not BCS schools, sometimes their baseball programs and baseball conferences are extremely good. So you know, we have to be ready to go each and every day. Help me understand Thomas Lindauer's power surge. Where has that come from, and, and what's up with that, I guess? <laughs> well, I mean, Thomas just uh, continues to become a good hitter. If you look in the big leagues, you know, you've got some guys with tremendous power that don't hit a lot of home runs because uh, they're not mature enough to understand which pitches they can drive and, and which pitches they, they can't drive. And, and so I think he's matured as a hitter. Uh, he's got some pitches up in the zone, a good good swing on him. And, you know, obviously he's gotten stronger. Uh, you know, he doesn't look stronger uh, from a physical standpoint, but he's a wiry, strong player, and has worked hard this year to, to you know, be able to perform well. Reed Roper kind of broke this weekend too. What have you seen from him that's helped him kind of get better? Well, Reed uh, at times has some mechanical flaws, and, and I thought he was uh, a little bit better with those this weekend and was able to get the barrel to the ball. Uh, you know, there's some times with, with some of the, the things that, that he struggles with mechanically that cause the barrel to drop and drag through the zone. And this uh, week he was able to you know, make some adjustments and put good strength on balls. Is it all in his hands? Or? Uh, I think it's in his lower body, which causes his hands to kind of flop and get out of whack. Uh, Jordan kind of mentioned to me that he was the most natural power to three times. Do you think that's a fair statement? Well, there's times when he... Uh, when he hits the ball, it literally is like a sledgehammer hitting, you know, a brick. And uh, he's got such strong hands and forearms. Uh, I think he has a lot of natural power. Uh, so, you know, I'm hopeful that, that he can have a good approach. I'm not worried about the power. He just continue to hit balls hard for us because he could be a major threat in, in an RBI situation. Uh, Snyder was kind of wasn't, wasn't smiling a whole lot, I guess, when he's been struggling. A lot of it's good to see him get back to smile. Did you feel the same way? Well, it is. Sometimes guys internalize so much, and, and uh, you know, it eats them up because they want to do so well. Yet, uh, you know, their, their hard work doesn't show in a game situation. So, for them to, uh, them, I say them, all of them, as players and, and Reed, it's nice to see them smile. It's nice to see them have success because we do have a lot of guys that work hard. Um, and sometimes guys that, that work hard. Uh, you know, it just takes time for that success to uh, you know, come on the field. Yeah, but for him, it seems like he's able to really separate hitting-wise. When he's pitching, is almost like it's... You know. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not a person that gets flustered a lot. I mean, he doesn't take his hitting on the defense, doesn't take his defense to the plate. Uh, you know, from a, a pitching standpoint, he, just, he can separate. You know, he grew up in a, uh, a coaching household. He grew up in a situation uh, where you know he played football, uh, had some people I'm sure screaming at him at times, and uh, he's a tough kid.